Hello, I'm Shelker with It's a Life Story. Thanks for joining me for the second tutorial we're making over our family history binders. Today's focus is all on the photos. So here's what you're going to need. We need some digitized photos and documents. <clears throat> Think about which documents that you might need to pull and make little call outs with. Today we're going to show in a large section of a federal census so that you can see my family's information clearly, but still kind of get an idea of what the census page looks like. We also need to have all our uh, text pre-written out in within a word processor and minimized. Um, and we also need to think about what we want for background paper, whether it be digital paper or do we just want to do a muted uh, color for the background. Last but not least, we need to have Picasa up and running, which we do. And um, you know, there's a lot of Picasa tutorials they can use in order to be editing your photos and photo management, but today we're really just going to be using it for design work. So let's get started. This 1940 census is a page that I chose to recreate because it contains both documents, photos, and stories into one page. So let's get started here. We need to go up to your search box and I have, uh, we talked about file folder structure. This happens to be my dad's underneath Max is his first name and the childhood folder which brings me exactly to where I want to be. Um, the very first thing we're going to do is, is modify this 1940 census to make a little call out box. So we will double click on the census, highlight it, double click, and you can see it's fairly small. We are going to come over here to the crop feature, click on that, and we're going to leave it on manual. There's all sorts of different sizes here, but the manual is what we want because we can make it as big as, as we want and different shapes. So I'm going to select where I'd like to start my crop, and I'm going to drag it all the way over here so that I can see to the edge of the, where the birthplaces are. Okay, it's a little bit big. If you notice here that we then can go back in, as long as we have this double edge, we kind of hover it over here, the edges, and we can kind of drag it and clean things up. I think that's good. We're going to leave it there. And once I click apply, then you'll see that we have now our little zoomed in area, which you can undo if you decide that it wasn't exactly the way you'd like to have it. Uh, within Picasa 3, we have some little brush functions here. I'm going to add a border, which is underneath this blue, the third uh, farthest one on the right, uh, brush choice. And I'm going to come down here and add border. And it puts this automatically in default as this black border on. But I would like to choose the little rainbow box here. And I'd like to make this into a red, a little bit thicker for the outside and for the inside that's just kind of the space between the actual cutout and between the border. And I like that to be a little bit thicker as well. I think we're good. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and now we have our new cutout. Let's see, I am going to then come up here to file and we need to save this and give it a new name, 1940. We'll just do 1940 cutout and hit save. And there we have it. So now if you look down here, we still, this is actually still your 1940 federal census. All we have to do is hit undo border, undo crop, and there we have it. Now we get to get to the creative part, which is going back to the library. We have all our wonderful things here. Uh, in order to, uh, to be able to do the collage, we need to collect what pictures we want to have in the collage within our little photo bin over here. So I have already highlighted that. I'm going to hold it, this little uh, green lightning bolt, and I can come over here and I can pick the call out and hit hold that as well. I do want this tractor, so I can do that. You can also do a control and, and just click with your uh, left mouse button. And you can just kind of click through the pictures that you want to have added as well. Um, but this one works as well. You can just do it individually as well. I have them all picked. I've got four different pictures. So we're going to hit collage. And there we have it. So at this point, we don't have any background on here. If you like white, you can go ahead and use it. I think with these kind of uh, more black and white pictures, I like to add a little bit of color just because it's visually more appealing. So I'm going to hit clips. We have two tabs over here, hit clips, and another little tab that says get more. I'm going to go back and get my paper, which 
as I've talked about before, I love Becky Higgins, uh, Heritage, uh, uh, Project Life, Digital Scrapbook Paper. And I keep them in here underneath this area. I'm going to come down here and there they are. They're so pretty. And I've already got a choice picked out. Now, if you notice down here, the casa is so nice and it says, hey, do you want to go back? Go back to where you were editing and we're going to say yes because we have already highlighted and selected our paper. Go back to the collage. And we do need to click outside of the box because I don't want to drag any more of these already over there. They're already on the paper. So we're going to highlight our paper, drag it over, and then we need to select it again. And if you remember, we're going to drag it out until it covers that entire piece of paper. And if we right click, move this little piece of paper to the bottom, and all our pictures will show back up again. Here it is. Okay, and so we've got all our pictures up on the page, got our background up, and now we're going to enlarge the census. You remember we just kind of grab on that little tab and pull out and there it's the 1940 census here's our little call out bring that up here and I'm gonna make it fairly oh I gotta grab on the right one there we go make that a little bit bigger because I want to be able to see it nice and easy and here is where it is on the actual 40, 1940 census. So I don't want to cover that up. Leave it up here. And now I can go down and actually kind of move our photos around. A little bit bigger. There, I kind of like the look of this. Once we have our page set, we got to remember we need to leave place for a title, we need to leave place for our text, and then I've got some captions that I'm going to put underneath here. Come over to the left and hit Create Collage, and it just generally smooshes all the layers down, all the pictures and background paper, and it puts it all and makes it into one uh, sheet of paper, kind of, if you want to think of it like that, into one layer. So we're going to go back here to the little wrench. And uh, we have all our text already entered into our word processor. So I'm going to come over here and actually click and hold down and drag and highlight the text that I'd like to copy. Right click, hit copy, and we will minimize this. Head back over to Picasa, click on text. Um, I'm going to leave it at Arial, size 8, it's black. And if I come over here, I'm going to click. Now the trick to this is hitting Control B, and that actually does a paste. This looks huge. Don't worry. We're going to size it down a little bit and move it over a little bit lower. There we go. All right, and there's our text. We'll hit Apply, and there we have it. And then we can go back over. Grab our second, right click, drag down, right click, and copy. And we will minimize, come over here. Again, we'll go ahead and leave it at that, all the settings. I'm going to click and hit Control V again for paste. Bring up our little box, and we're going to make it smaller. Remember, these are kind of more of a caption, so they can be a little bit smaller. Okay, and hit apply, and then we're going to go over and get our third caption. Drag it down, select it, right click, copy, minimize the page, and go back into text. Control V, Use that, and let's make this smaller. And there we have all our captions. And we can hit apply. Now the only thing we have left is a quick little title. And I'm going to make this about 26. Actually like here's a Giramon. And I'm going to make a red with a little bit of an outline. And type 
40. I like that. Apply. And there we have it. Uh, we have taken not only just a, you know, a regular research document, but now we have added photos, we've added a little bit of text to give some background, and we've made it into a pleasing format. So I think the goal of all this is to ultimately uh, have people looking through this information. I could put this right on top of the actual 1940 copy of the 1940 census printout, and if they choose to look at the census a little bit further, then you know that's great in my mind. Um, but hopefully it will lead them to then want to look through the rest of the album and see what other stories and little things that they might pick up. Again, this is Michelle Kerr with uh, It's a Life Story, and I'm so glad that you joined me today. We have one more in the series, kind of pulling it all together and finishing that makeover of our family history research binders. I look forward to uh, seeing you again. Take care.